Hi, and welcome to Facilitate Consultation Processes. So first thing we need to look at here is what is consultation? Consultation is basically dialogue between two people. So you can see here people who aren't really talking to each other. There needs to be uh, interaction between these two people. And consultation is basically asking for information, but it's more than, than asking. Okay, consultation is contributing to a discussion and also receiving feedback from that discussion about an, an issue that affects um, a number of people and people involved in that discussion. So the idea is that consultation is extremely important for a business and they need to be able to ask for that information. They need to be able to get that information from the people they're asking, but there also needs to be some dialogue between those people um, to, to ask follow-up questions to, to enable them to, to really get the information they need to make the decision uh, correctly to benefit the most amount of people. So what happens after consultation is that obviously someone will need to be responsible for actually completing the task. So you need to make sure that you, um, you, you factor that in. So it's not uh, important enough just to ask people about what they think, but after consultation happens, something needs to happen with that consultation and action needs to be taken. Um, so the problem that you're consulting about needs to, um, needs to be solved. It's also important that consultation happens only with relevant personnel. Um, if you ask any random person about what you're doing, then you can get a lot of information and it can be difficult to sort through the, the crap to get to the good stuff. Um, but also relevant personnel are the ones who would be um, who would actually have a vested interest in it. So instead of just um, you know getting too much information, you also get the more correct information by asking the relevant personnel. Uh, and who are those relevant personnel in an organization? They are these people. They're the WHS committee and the representatives, if you're looking at WHS matters. Uh, they can be supervisors, managers, and other employees, because these are the people either at the coalface working every day, the employees, or the ones managing those people. And so these people uh, should know the, um, the ins and outs of the issue at hand, um, because it affects them every day. You can look at the union reps and unions themselves as these people would have the interests of workers at heart and would have a broad range of people to speak to because all their members would have an opinion on, on certain things. So they can have a really wide opinion and tell you what works um, well in different organizations. You can also talk to people with specialist responsibilities. So these are people who have a particular expertise in an area um, that can help you with some feedback on the issue that you're trying to, um, to decide on.